guys, it is Friday, 2nd of August, one month until eruption. So, uh, it's gonna be a full day training. In. So, yeah, I just did a 5.5k run as a warm up, and uh, uh, now it's time for the hard work. I've always been told that first to beat someone else in the ring, first you gotta beat yourself in training. So, let's do it. participation sport. If you're not in it for, to win, you're in the wrong fucking sport. Anyone that tells you any different, this is bullshitting ya. training session in the afternoon, 2 hours and 15 minutes, it uh, starts with a run, runs uh, uh, about 5.5 k's, shadow boxing, skipping, 10 minutes skipping in that space for the warm up, uh, when you shadow, it's visualising your opponent, see their face in front of you, think about what they're going to do, what they're good at, and what their weaknesses are, and how you can get them. And move on to five rounds on the bag. These sort of your warm-up rounds and then five rounds pads. Uh, that's what I do with Dan, my pad holder. And then another five rounds in the bag hard. After that you got two sets of 60 kick left kicks, two sets of 60 right kicks, that's your cardio. Um, then yeah, two sets of 100 knees. And you got um, that's a lot for your cardio. Um, and your leg strength. But yeah, neck strength is is something I'm really big on. Um, you want to have a strong neck for when you're clinching so you don't get your head pulled down as easy and get neat in the face. And uh, you want to have really strong jaw. So the stronger your jaw is, the harder it is um, to be for them to knock you out. If you got a, a loose jaw, then you can just get knocked out easy. So a lot of jaw work, a lot of neck work, and um, which is going to make everything strong around here. So Muay Thai, it's not, it's not a participation sport, it's not something you can just come in and just try out, like it's not tennis or football, where you can, if you don't train hard enough, it's like, oh yeah, okay, you know, I tried my best, I had fun, I gave it a go, it's not that kind of sport, you know, you gotta, you gotta do the work, there's no fucking around in this sport, otherwise, you know, if, if you don't do the work, you don't train hard, you can, it's gonna be very dangerous and you can get very hurt, and you know, it's happened to me before especially in Muay Thai and especially finding someone 
like who I'm fighting, Charlie Bob, he's the best in the world for a reason. So if you're not going to come in the gym and do the work, you, know, you can expect to get hurt. So I've lost a few times, but um, a couple in particular where I was knocked out pretty bad and ended up in hospital. So when you think of those times you've lost, of course it's going to make you train harder. So when things get hard, when you're sore and and tired and you're freaking and aching, for sure I think of I'm not losing again. I'm not being knocked out ever. So I just kind of come in here and ruin myself and yeah, just make sure that it doesn't ever happen again because it's the worst. You put so much effort in, you lose. So the more work you do, the less chance it's going to happen. Um, yeah, the winning feeling is uh, it's the best feeling in the world. So it's what I think about every night before I go to bed, every morning when I wake up, brush my teeth, when I shower, when I eat, sleep, shit, piss, everything. But um, but I also think of losing and I think about how much I don't want that to happen because I have lost before. So you've got to be realistic with yourself. You're not going to train hard. It's, it's a very real possibility and you can get hurt. So if you don't want that to happen, come to the gym, work your ass off, go home, keep yourself honest. And that's it. There's no secret to it. There's no magic potion that you can take. It's just show up, do the work, go home. Don't complain.